Hey everybody, Barry Knight here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom character within Medieval 2 Total War or within a modification or a sub-mod of said Medieval 2 Total War. So what you want to do first is go into your files and depending on whether you're a Steam user or a disk user you want to go into program files 86 first. If you're a Steam user you want to go into Steam you want to go into Steam Apps, you want to go into Common, and here's Medieval 2. Go into Medieval 2, you go under Data if you want to modify Medieval 2 specifically, or go into Mods and then go into Americas, say, and then go under Data. But if you're not going to do it under that, then just don't say you did. So anyways, we're going to go back to here, going to go back to, going to go into Sega, Medieval 2, Total War, the data, soups, sorry, oops about that. Going into mods actually because we're modifying a mod. I don't have a lot of good experience modifying Medieval 2 specifically, but I did it a few years ago and I haven't gone back because I didn't want to mess up files and I was noobish, but this is a tutorial so then you're all not noobish as I was back in that time. So. What we're going to be modifying today is Fire and Blood 0.9. It doesn't really matter what mod you're wanting to change or anything, just make sure that you get it all accurate and it's correct. Anyways, data, we're going to go into World, Maps, Campaign, Imperial Campaign, and then what you want to do here is go into Desk Strat. And then depending on which faction you want to change, you want to make sure that you find the right one and you're modifying the correct one. And you you can find it, but I have a character that's pretty easily easy to find, so that's one that, one that I've already made. So what you want to do when you're making a new character is the best rule of thumb is to just copy and paste one of the ones that's already in the game like so and you want to make sure there's always a space between this thing and your character otherwise the game won't recognize it and it might just crash to your desktop and you also need a space right here as well so then it's not just one character and your whole faction's empty alright so we got John Cunnington here but we're not gonna have John Cunnington sorry buddy it's gonna be Ruthor Darkline or whatever the hell you want to name your guy. You're going to change, you can change their age to whatever you want it to be. Make sure it's a male though, because the game won't register it correctly, I believe. I've never tried female, but if, if you want to, it's at your own risk. Go for it. Anyways, when it comes to the, the positioning on the campaign map, you can kind of just guess and try things. I've already gone in and found out that this one's okay, but what I would recommend is going in with uh, show cursor stat. It's show underscore cursor stat like this, just show cursor stat, and you should be able to just, it'd be fine. You can find exactly which spot on the map you want and you're good. But you do want to save that, which you've already done. Keep this open. You want to go into, or back to data. You're going to then go down to names. Desk, desk names, desk names. Alright, so, depending on which faction you're trying to modif modify, you want to find them. Alright, so we found Byzantium or the Targaryens. Going to add in Ruthor, his first name and his last name or surname. If you don't put these in and the game files don't already have them in here, he won't be registered and they'll have a blank name. It also goes the same for princesses too, I believe. Alright, Darkline. Yep. Just make sure that you spelled your character correctly and it should be good you can close out of that but you should tend to keep them open just for a good rule of thumb if you're 
going to modify a lot of things. Anyways, you're going to go into text next and then go to names text. You're going to go all the way to the bottom. Make sure that your person's not already here. So, Wiles, right there. Right there. <laughs> Anyways, what you want to do is just copy and paste this. It's a lot simpler, it's a lot faster. But what you want to do then is just put your first name in for your character and then their last name. If I could do that, okay. If I could type today, that'd be great. You want to save that. Now that it's got it at the bottom. And sometimes, depending on whether the game wants to be nice to you or not, you might have to add a second S or other letter. For some reason, I've had this happen to me. And I don't know why it was with Strong Bellwas, because I'd gotten... <laughs> I got a few people in, actually, and it didn't happen. So I was pretty surprised, but it did happen. But anyways, you could close out of that. Just be in my, bear that in mind. You could just add one more letter, and it'll still be fine in the campaign. Just make sure when you add that one letter that it's to every single file, every single names file, and in desk strat too. So what you want to do then is go back. We want to go to UI and to custom portraits. Excuse and then you want to go into just any random folder see how it's lined up here you have portrait dead portrait old portrait young so we're going to need three TGA files it has to be TGA there's no if and or buts about it so a nice program that I like to use for doing this it's fast and simple and it's free it's GIMP just download it online for free and you're fine so, I have a picture here for my character I'm going to be using today for Ruthor Darkline. What I like to do is just cut him out of this picture. Get his shoulder in there, though. Alright, so we want to crop that. Want to scale your, scale your image size based on pixels. Otherwise, the game will not recognize it. If it's oversized or undersized, the game won't recognize it, and you'll have a random general every time you click on your general. So the width is 69 pixels, and the height is 96. So you want to scale that. Want to export it. Make sure it's to your desktop. Or at least for me, it's just better if it's to the desktop. So make sure you call it portrait, young or old, or whatever. Make sure it's a TGA file. Export it. Want to do the same thing again. Just make sure it's called old. Enter, enter. And then to make it look old, I mean uh, dead, to make them look dead, you can just do grayscale. Or anything that just makes them seem dead works. So if you just want the comp the screen completely black for them as a picture, that's fine. If they're not even your family member, it won't really matter. <laughs> so we got that. Alright, we can close out of GIMP for now. Or just minimize whatever you want to do. What you want to do next is make a folder with some sort of you can name the folder whatever you want to name it as long as you remember what you named it it'll help you a lot so I named mine Darkline and I did so because Darkline will match every other folder in here they're not capitalized do not capitalize it please do not do that that would save your life anyways we're gonna go back to desk strat we're gonna go to portrait section going to delete that and we're going to put in the folder name that we just put in right here dark line dark line spelling is key ladies and gentlemen spelling is key make sure that your character name is spelled correctly make sure that your portrait 
description name matches your folder name, so then they link up when the game tries to find your character's portrait. And make sure that your character's name matches exactly the name within all the name's files. Otherwise, the game will not register it, and it'll probably just give you errors or a character that has no name or no face. So, that is all for today. Hope this helps you guys out, and I hope you guys are able to make some new characters. If you guys are, send me some screenshots. That'd be pretty cool. So, until next time, thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you later. Barry Knight out.